Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. This one is on the lasers. Uh, I just watched my last two videos and I'm really aware of how much I'm waffling. The videos are way longer than really they need to be. So I'm going to try and cut this one down as best I can. So here's the laser. Uh, here it is in the song. Uh, but really, in the song, it has so much other stuff layered with it. So there's the thing we talked about in the last tutorial. The hammer that goes along with it. The actual laser. The sub. And then this solid base. So really... Uh, you never even hear it on its own. But, okay. Here it is good for lasers. You can see I made this as a preset. Now, this is a very interesting technique you can do in Citrus, which involves using it as a wavetable synth. I wasn't trying to make a laser when I did this, I just used it as a laser. So, listen to this. If I just play a solid note, It evolves as I change the X knob. Now, if I go to operator 1, take a look at the shape of the wave. It's just a plain sign. When I go to 2, 3, 4, 5, it evolves into this weird-ass shape. Now, how exactly did I do this? Well, I'm going to make a tutorial entirely on this, because I think it's a really cool, interesting thing you can do in Citrus that I discovered completely by accident. Uh, so basically what you do is, you set operator 1 to be whatever shape you want, operator 5 to be whatever shape you want, click this little down arrow here and press morph oscillators 1 to 5. And what that does, is does this, it blends them using the operators 2, 3 and 4. And it's a good idea to start with a really simple sound on operator 1, e.g. a sine wave, and then I changed loads of shit, introduced a load of new frequencies to make it like this. So it starts simple and get complex. And these three uh, just morph between it. Now, when you first do this, since there's only five waves in the table, it is really choppy. It's really obvious when one wave stops and the next one starts. It's really easy to hear the transitions. <coughs> So I just assigned volume, mod X, and just cross-faded between them all. So yes, and turn the out up on all of them so you can actually hear them. Because if I do this... You can only hear operator 1. So I need to turn them all up. And operator 1 would normally be like this but I turn this down just so it shuts up at the end of every note just to make it sort of choppier, each note shorter so that each note actually ends and gets rid of excuse me, any annoying crap at the end of each note so, as for effects, here it is without any which is really a pathetic sound and to make it a laser where are we? I just did a very quick slide note from high to low. So this is the pattern, and I just chopped up the pattern a bit, so here it is, as you can see. And this automation clip is for the x -Mod. But yeah, effects. So, wave shaper for distortion. I actually just cranked the hell out of it basically for a ridiculous drive <laughs> and because the transitions between each of the waves in the wavetable is really obvious like the crossfade doesn't really fix it perfectly the volume goes up and down and up and down as you turn it so this is kind of like compression to fix that so if I turn the X knob now the volume here stays roughly level but if I turn it off doesn't stay the same, and Wave Shaper aims to fix that. Parametric EQ, just to, you know, get rid of all the highs, 
because it sounded kind of pretty damn harsh. Low pass it because it's got its own sub. And to notch out this part, even though it sounds basically no different. I cut that part out anyway. Maximus for a bitch ton of compression. How much do you bet that when I click master there'll be a massive curve? Yes, of course there is. Because that's all I do with Maximus. Yeah, just a massive ass curve on master to compress the hell out of it. Dimension expander. Ambient. Spit a reverb. And that's literally just the laser done. But to be honest, really, m modulating X wasn't necessary. Doing all this wavetable crap wasn't necessary. I could have just done this. Okay, clearly I couldn't. Uh... Oh, fuck's sake. Whatever. The point is, you don't need to use a wavetable synth to get a decent laser. Literally just use plain old saw wave. The way every single laser in existence works is literally just... Wow, this is laggier than I expected. There we go. It's literally just box standard sound, pitch, bang, bang, bang. <laughs> There's a laser. Done. So, that hopefully wasn't overly long tutorial. And I'll be back for the next one. Not sure what it's going to be, but I'll think of something in the meantime. And try and teach you it without boring the shit out of you. So, see you in about 10 seconds for whatever's up next. <laughs>